uh, today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create not really a 3D text, but more of like a bold, kind of like a hard drop shadow text with some nice reflections on it. Um, but the style we're kind of going for is kind of like the one in Gibby's most recent speed art. Um, there'll be a video link on screen for you guys to go check out the video, and there'll also be a link in the description to go check out his channel. Um, but the text he uses in the banner is essentially what we're going to be going over today. So uh, let's jump into Photoshop and get to work. Now in creating a text like this, there's multiple ways about going and creating it. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys the simplest way I know how at least in my opinion. Um, but essentially all this is, is just one or two text layers, one above it and one below it just moved down a little bit and a couple shades lighter and uh, just an easy nice reflection on top. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn off these layers here. I'll also have the PDS uh, to download in the description for you guys to follow along with this if you do need it. Uh, so we're just going to grab our tutorial, I mean, not our tutorial, our text tool, and uh, we're going to call this tutorial. Sorry, I am typing with one hand here. Tutorial. Uh, the font I'm using is uh, Nexia Bold. There'll be also another link in the description for you guys to go download that. It's a free font. Um, so the first thing that we want to do here is we want to go and uh, grab our gradient in our layer style and we're going to make kind of a, a dark or a light bright uh, kind of like a fluorescent orange in a way so for our end like for the bottom part we're going to make it a little bit darker than our top part so we're just going to pick a nice orange color like so it's looking pretty good maybe make this a tiny bit darker like that that looks eh, a little too dark there uh, it's looking pretty good hit okay hit okay um, the next thing we want to do is we're just going to duplicate this so we'll duplicate our top layer we're going to call this um, tutorial one just so we can keep track of it so when it comes to uh, organizing things it'll be easier to recognize tutorial one and tutorial two uh, for tutorial two what we want to do is we're gonna hold down our arrow key for about five or six times like right about there and what we want to do is we're going to turn off our gradient here and we're going to add a color overlay select the color we have here and we're just going to make it uh, darker than the one above it so right about there um, looks pretty good maybe a little bit more orange that ah, looks pretty good and as you can see here most of it lines up perfectly but except for here with our R and our A. Now to fix this, it's very simple. All we have to do is we're gonna rasterize both our layers first, so rasterize the type. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and grab our rectangular marquee tool. And the first thing we're gonna work with is our R. So to fix it, we're just gonna go here to the corner of our text and drag here to our other corner of our text. We're gonna right click on it and go to fill and make sure our content is on content aware. Hit okay. Whoops, I'm actually on the wrong one. Right click on it. We wanna make sure that we're on tutorial two, the bottom one. Fill and hit content aware. Uh, hit control T or control, um, my mistake. Actually, that's not too far, that's not far enough. And let me just move this over a little bit. There you go. Right click, fill, content aware. And, uh, oops, make sure we're on our second one, not our top layer. Fill, content aware. Hit uh, Control D to deselect, and uh, let's zoom out and see how that looks. Uh, that looks pretty good. Now, we're going to do the same exact thing to our A. So, again, make sure our bottom layer is selected. Go to our marquee tool, go to the edge of our text, and drag out right about there. Right click, hit Fill, make sure content aware is selected, and hit OK. Hit uh, Control D. And uh, there you go. So do the same thing on this side as well. Uh, right about there. Right click, fill, content aware. Okay. And uh, oop, a little messed up there. Let's restart that or move it over a little bit. There you go. Fill. Okay. Control D. And uh, looks pretty good. Uh, that's what we're wanting to achieve so you can also use the lasso tool so if you have kind of like a rough area and you just want to select it you can also use that too um, that's usually useful when you have more of like inside the a here if there is like a piece missing it's easier just to use the lasso tool um, so the next thing that we want to do is we're going to add a um, some bevel emboss to our top text so we're going to go and click on tutorial one 
go over here to bevel and emboss, check that off. We're going to change the depth to 2. Make sure that um, our technique is all, or yeah, technique is on chiseled hard. I mean chiseled, uh, chiseled soft I mean. And uh, bring the size down to 0. And make sure that your angle is 150. I'm pretty sure it's standard, it starts off at 90 degrees, so make sure it's at 150 and 0. Make sure global light is um, uh, checked off. I mean unchecked, my mistake. And uh, what we want to do is we're actually going to turn off our shadow mode or put it down to about 10 and make sure the shadow mode is normal and actually we're going to bring that down to 5. Oops, my mistake didn't mean to hit enter there. Uh, go back here and make sure that our highlight mode for, our, uh, for that is changed to normal and uh, put this up to 80%. And as you can see, oops, my mistake, 0. This has to be changed back. I don't know why I changed that. Um, as you can see, it adds kind of like a uh, highlight effect from like um, kind of like an afternoon sun. So it shines up from over here and it shines down. So it gives that, that nice kind of uh, light angle, which is pretty cool. Uh, my mistake was actually forgot to mess with that. There you go. That's what we're looking for. So as you can see, if we zoom in, it has that nice like highlight effect on the left side of our text and not the right side. So it looks really cool and uh, it's really nice. Um, so the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a new layer and we're going to start adding our reflection. Now to do this, you can either use the, uh, the um, Eclipse Marquee Tool or the normal Rectangle Marquee Tool. Today we're just going to use the uh, Rectangle Marquee Tool and we're going to drag out and cut our text kind of in half like that. And what we want to do is we're just going to go grab our Brush Tool. Make sure that our color is selected at um, pure white. Um, now my settings for my brush are at hardness 30 and uh, my size is about 70 pixels and my opacity is at 90. What we're going to do is we're just going to drag across from left to right so we'll hold shift and right about there and we'll just drag across like that. Once we do that we'll just hit control D to deselect and then what we want to do is we want to hit control again on our top layer and click on the thumbnail for tutorial 1 which will select our text there and what we want to do is we're going to right click on it and go and hit select inverse we'll hit delete and as you can see it deletes everything outside of the text that's not inside of it hit control D again to deselect and all we're going to do is change the opacity to 60 uh, maybe 40% 45% that looks pretty good so 45% uh, looks pretty good now that's pretty much the end of this tutorial guys Stars made